A disturbing mass grave of at least 20 skeletons have been discovered in Viana, the Netherlands. The skeletons were uncovered during excavation work on the city moat. A section of the Vilden Canal will be reconnected once again with the rest of the city canal. But of course, work on the canal has now come to a standstill awaiting excavations. The locations where the skeletons were found is in or near the former Batestein castle grounds. This castle was built around 1370 by order of Gijsbrecht van Beusigen. The castle served as a residential location for noble families for approximately 300 years. In 1567, the surrounding town and castle were overrun by the Spanish army. More than a century later, in 1696, fireworks sparked a large fire inside the castle's walls, and due to financial problems, it was never rebuilt. The large keep was torn down in 1771, the rest of the castle followed in 1828 through 1829. The only thing left of the castle are part of the decorative gate called the Hof or Bos gate and some connecting wall parts. A moat on the south side of the castle grounds disappeared over time. In 1822 a part of the moat was still open. This historical connection is now being restored. Archaeologist Jamie van der Heul was engaged in archaeological research due to excavation work on the extension of the city canal. He told RTV Utrecht, I saw something striking in the slope and it turned out to be a piece of skull. The archaeologist began to dig and found one skeleton after the other. After a week of excavations, they have now confirmed to have found 20 skeletons. It is a rare find because of the location where the skeletons were found. Van der Heul explains, we are located outside the old city centre, with very few buildings in the immediate vicinity, so it's a unique place to come across human remains. City councillor Christa Hendriksen said, we are surprised by the discovery of this many skeletons. The skeletons are partly stacked. Old hand-forged nails have been found which indicate that the skeletons were buried in wooden coffins. Other finds, such as clothing or textile scraps, button and jewellery are missing. It is clear that this is a historical find. The skeletons date from between the late Middle Ages to a few hundred years ago. A working hypothesis is that the people simultaneously passed away and that they've been buried outside the castle grounds in a mass grave, perhaps after an incident. The skeletal remains are most likely from young men, between the ages of 15 and 30 years. Further research will have to reveal when they lived, what happened to them and why their coffins were buried on top of each other. Although archaeologists suspect that the skeletons date from a period somewhere between the Middle Ages and the 18th century. They have many questions about this find, like why are these people lying here? What caused them to die? Could it be related to historical events? For example, something could have happened in the 80 years war, with many casualties happening at the same time. I realize that not many people outside of mainland Europe are familiar with the 80 years war, also known as the Dutch War of Independence. It was a revolt of the 17 provinces, which today are the Netherlands, Belgium and Luxembourg against Philip II of Spain, the sovereign of the Holy Roman Empire's House of Habsburg. Under the leadership of William the Silent, also known as William of Orange, the northern provinces continued their resistance. I know the city I live closest to, named Alkmaar, played a huge role in this resistance. The Spanish laid siege on the city from August 21st until October 8th, 1573. The citizens of Alkmaar held off the Spanish with boiling tar and burning branches from the renewed city walls. On September 23rd, William the Silent ordered the dikes surrounding Alkmaar to be breached, thereby flooding the polders and area in which the Spanish troops were camped. This forced the Royal Spanish Army to retreat. The last Spanish soldiers left on October 8, 1573. In 1581, the Act of Abjuration, or in Dutch, Plakkaat van Verlatingen, was drafted and signed. This was the Declaration of Independence by the Dutch Republic and so the Republic of the Seven United Netherlands was established. The Republic was recognized by Spain around 1608 at the start of the Twelve Years' Truce. After the initial 40 years of war and even a truce, hostilities broke out again around 1619, and the war raged on for another 30 years until the end of the war was reached in 1648 with the Peace of Münster. The Dutch Republic was definitively recognized as an independent country, no longer part of the Holy Roman Empire. Now that I've quickly explained the 80 years war, we will return to the recent findings. It shows a new piece of history to Fiana, says van der Heul. 
The fact that this many people are buried here, that until a week ago was completely unknown, is a piece of unwritten history. By examining it now, we can tell what happened on a page in history. A find of this magnitude is rare in the Netherlands. They found at least 20 skeletons, and there's no doubt there are more skeletons waiting to be found. The size of the site is not yet known at this time, so they are investigating an even larger area to try and find out the size and scale of the excavations. Van der Heul said, with this many skeletons found, we can now speak of a mass grave. The bones near the water are now collected and then sent to a specialist for further examination. They will then end up in an archaeological depot. Currently the site is being secured, Van der Heul explained. Otherwise we will soon have bodies without skulls, and that would be a shame, because grave robbers are always everywhere. When new information gets announced, I will make a follow-up video. But for now, this is all the information I could gather. If you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, and click the bell icon for notifications every time I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner, or click the link in the description down below. I also want to thank my Patreons, Richard, Barry and NGC6543, and for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.